all right welcome to another video guys um, I think today what I'm going to do is start um, mocking things up um, for the oil cooler so um, the sorry not oil cooler the oil um, temp gauge so I'm gonna to need to do some wiring I think so I think I might get that out of the way with while I'm waiting for some parts um, so I drove the car today it ran flawlessly the way it is I'm loving it so far let me just um, yeah I've got the engine cover back on I've got the box back on because I'm running it as a daily don't want to um, you know upset any of the authorities on the road they kind of don't like those things um, if I ever do need to uh, pop the bonnet for any reason, then it looks, you know, if it look, can look as stock as possible, it's going to help me through, um, you know, any potential issues. So, right now, looking normal, looking stock. And it ran beautifully. Pulled 22 PSI from the stock air box um, with uh, some mods uh, to it to allow more airflow. Of course, it's sucking air in the engine bay area here, um, but I'm not concerned because I'm running a front mount intercooler anyway. So what I would do here, we're going to have a look at um, wiring in. Now I'm going to have to remove some of these plastic bits to get to that. There's a bung in there. Um, I'm going to try and crack it open. See if I can fit the... Um, oil temperature gauge and it's a little bit hot so I can oh it's not too bad I like this engine cover it's very it makes the car very neat uh, very Europeanish matches everything in the, in the car so everything's all hidden I like that look but anyway let's remove some of the bits and pieces I know I'm going to have to do some wiring and I know I'm going to need Mr. Um, coat Hanger again. So grab all my wiring solutions. Alrighty, so first things first, the gauge. That's the wiring harness for the gauge. Um, there's four, oh it looks like there's five wires here, there's five wires. Two other wires are going to be for the sensor, and this sensor is going to be underneath there. Do a, a wiring harness, custom one, and pretty much hook it up like just feed it through like the boost gauge, uh, yeah, boost gauge reading. So, around, around there, or yeah, it's going to have to come up through there. I'll take some of this plastic off to give me better view, um, but it's going to go through there again. Um, there's a few things already in there. So I need two wires going into the um, cabin. And then the other three are going to be... What's the other three? Illumination. It's going to go to a 12, vo 12 volt. Straight. That's the white one. Um... Yeah, that's going to go straight to 12 hours. So I think what I can get all of this power from the fuse box on this side here. We've got some tapping happening for various things. Um, <clears throat> meth kit for one. Um, yeah, I'll just tap into one of these things um, to the back of this. So if I pull this whole end off, there's a back of this switch which I can get access to so that's two wires done um, sensor input that's the green that green one will go to the red sensor output on here so this will go to the green black will go to ground 12 volts so there's a ground in there it's the brown wire and the battery battery 12 volt. that's interesting <laughs> So this is going to go, this one has to go straight to the battery, apparently. Hmm. wonder why. 
crown battery. What does that do? Alright, well, looks like I need three wires. One for a uh, 12 volt battery. Go to the ground of the battery. Oh, that's interesting. Right, so it looks like everything's going to be um, handled by the uh, the gauge. So everything goes into the gauge, everything goes out. Uh, all the readings go to the gauge, power goes to the gauge, and it powers the sensor. Alright, so I got the uh, plastics off. Um, I'm probably going to remove this bit here as well to give me a bit more room. Um, looks like... The, I'm going to use this black wire here for negative terminal right there. It's going to go straight to um, the sensor, I believe. Yep. So this is going to go. This wire here should go. Should fit long enough. And we'll go from sensor um, to battery, negative side. Now I'm going to need um, sensor output is going to go into the body of the car. I think that's it. Everything else is sort of handled inside the car. So I'm going to use the purple wire here. Okay, so I got uh, Mr. Coat Hanger in there. And um, I fed him through from the inside. It's um, little little details matter here. But um, instead of poking it through the top inside, and it sort of gets lost within the firewall and between the firewall, it's a more direct route if you poke it in from <clears throat> the inside of the car and poke it out to um, uh, to the engine bay. So that's what I've done. It's always worked for me uh, relatively quickly. I tried the other way once and it just took a lot of you know faffing around. Um, so instead of doing that, I um, now just go straight to what works for me. Um, and you can do it whatever way you want as long as you, if you feed it through the hole. Um, but I'm just going to tuck some of this wiring a bit to the side, so it's going to be roughly mocked up like that. Once, but once I pull it in, um, can't really see much, but I'm going to try and pull it in as much as I can slowly. Yeah, look, take two. Need to cut some of this stuff out, but. I think that's the length of wire I need. Oh, that's probably not going to reach. Um, the sensor wire. Might have to extend that somehow. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's fine for the sensor wires. So I've got two sensor wires hooked up. Not hooked up, but you know, mocked up, ready to go. I'm going to put, tuck all this underneath, I think. See how I go from there. Alrighty, I'm pretty much done at the engine bay. Well, done with the wiring in the engine bay. I've just got some plastic bits. Um, these two are going to the sensor. Okay. Uh, the yellow wire, or the purple wire, yellow into the purple, is going into the engine bay, to, this, to the gauge. This is going to the ground. Yeah, I'm probably going to put the gauge up here somewhere for now. Because I've got a um, gauge. And guess what? Mr. Coat Hanger does it again. So, fished it out from inside the fuse box, the fuse area. And now I've got the wiring through. So, I'm going to undo that and start progressing with the rest of it. Alrighty, guys. Um, so, I've managed to get all the wiring in place the gauge is going to sit somewhere here like that 
Um, that is now working. All right, guys, continuing on. Um, so what I did was I removed the plastic cover along with the uh, uh, metal retainer for um, for the support for the plastic and also helps keep the um, oil uh, dipstick in place as well. Um, so once I've got all that out of the way and I've loosened up the, um, the metal bracket that goes on to I'm going to say it goes on to the oil cooler. And now I've got everything loose. I've actually gone ahead and cracked the bolt um, loose. So I. Oh, lighting's a bit shoddy here, but let's see. Look, that's the. That's it there. That's what we want to get to. And I want to see if I can. Oh, it's loose. It's hand tight loose. That's my oil sensor. Um, there, yeah, the oil sensor sensor <laughs> or gauge sensor I mean um, yeah oh. that's pretty cool like that didn't really have oh, oh. anything there uh, stopping it so I wonder if I need a I don't think I need a, anything like a bushing or anything, so let's see if that fits. I dig my hand in and just see if I can. Oh, oh I'm gonna free. Oh, I'm gonna spin it in. That's in, that's as in as it gets. Um, cool, that's easier than I thought. So, I'm gonna get a 12 mil. All right, so I've got the bung on. The sensor is perfect for that hole. That's the sensor wires. Um, the positive goes into the cabin, which I've wired already using this purple um, wire. And ground is directly off the, um, the battery, and that will ground it uh, nicely. Um, yeah, so what I might do is actually start this thing. To make sure that um, there's not going to be any issues with oil leaks. Right here we go. All right, so there's a bit of a leak there. Let's switch it off. Let's get in there. Alright, I'm not going to do this with two hands and try and tighten it up. Alrighty, so it appears I didn't tighten it enough, so I got in there with the spanner and pretty much just sent it. So that oil sensor, oil temp sensor there, doesn't look like it's leaking anymore. Seems okay for the minute. So that's all connected up. The oil temp is wired in. Let's see if we can um, plug this back in. I had to take it out because I was driving it today and it kept falling off. I will get a uh, gauge holder for this. It's on its way. Um, that's working. I'll switch it back over to white because any other color looks a bit sad. So, that's on, gauge is connected, and it appears to be working, I think. Um, 50 degrees coolant, so it should be about 50 degrees here as well. Um, the true test will be, yeah, just putting everything back in again and watching the dial go up. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's, that's working. I'll, um, put everything back in the engine bay again, 
and then I'll cut back to see if the, end, the gauge has warmed up a bit or not. So let's take it from there. Alrighty, everything's all buttoned up and um, it looks like the gauge is working. So it's now going up slowly. So the you know oxygen temp, uh, sorry, the coolant temp is 75 uh, by the gauge and the sensor internally, and the oil temperature is slowly but surely rising. So it's about 50, you know, 55 at the moment. It will probably get up to 60 a little bit later, but it is moving up slowly, which is good. So that's what we want. We want to see uh, the sensor. Uh, working so I want to actually track and see how hot the oil temp gets in this car especially with the KO4 um, I'm going to monitor it uh, on a daily because I'm driving it every day now and you can slowly see that the gauge is now um, coming up coming on so this is a win so it's roughly going to sit there the gauge pod that I'm going to get is just an automated one and it's going to have one here and one here uh, location for um, the uh, sensors so I'm either gonna relocate um, I like the boost gauge there I might relocate um, this one or put an, another sensor in uh, exhaust gas temperature that's also also good to understand how hot um, the exhaust is getting in the uh, downpipe but yeah it's slowly rising it's um, yeah that'll be it now so look um appreciate everyone watching and um yeah just uh, like and subscribe as usual if um uh, if you can leave a comment on uh what do you think about the setup so far i'm gonna be getting onto the oil cooler after this so i want to monitor how hot it gets and then to check uh if how it affects it so i'm gonna have to um, send it um, while I'm driving it to see how hot it gets but yeah it's reaching 55 uh, now it's reaching 55 and the um, uh, coolant temp is now 80 degrees so there's a bit of a difference there and it's great to, to have that visibility now especially when you're running a bigger turbo so alrighty guys I'll end it there have a good one I'll see you guys in the next video